First Corinthians chapter seven, verse twenty-nine. Would everybody have it? Say, "Con." Con. All right, go ahead. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. See that Paul said the time is short. So now we're living in the last days, right? The prophecies are going to come. They're going to escalate. Things are going to become more. They're going to come right more in your face. You can't deny the prophecies because they're happening. Con. Right. Go ahead. Uh, it remaineth that both they that have wives. The Lord said, they that have wives, go ahead. Be as though they had none. Right? Meaning, it's not that you neglect your wife or anything, but sometimes, brothers, you, you're so preoccupied with the work, right? You're busy with the most high in your house shy. Sometimes it might seem like you're not even married. Well, brother, how do you have time for a family? You're always doing the work. You got to stay busy in your house when your house shy. Go ahead. Right? And it's not that you don't love and, and take care of your wife, but... The most high work got to be first. Sometimes you're so busy with the most high work, you got to make sacrifices even with your family. Go ahead. Um, right, go ahead. And they that weep as though they weep not. They that weep as though they weep not because we're about to rejoice. Go ahead. And they that rejoice as though they rejoice not. Right, the people in this world that's rejoicing, they better get ready for some prophecy and destruction. Mm -hmm. Right? You rejoicing. A lot of people get proud. They rejoice because of their money. You know what I'm saying? You go to the bank and Bank of America say you ain't got no more money in here. Or your money's missing. Okay? Uh -huh. So we're living in serious times. Go ahead. And they that buy as though they possess not. Come on. And they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away. It said the fashion of this world is going to pass away. So is, you're going to buy, but it's like you don't possess because this stuff is temporary. Okay? Uh, you cannot bring none of this stuff with you. Give me on um, First Peter's whole lot. Let's go from there to First Peter's five and six. You can't take none of these worldly possessions with you, Kai. Uh, can't take none of this stuff with you. It's all going to burn up in nuclear fire and destruction. So that's why I said you buy, but you possess not. Don't put your spirit into these material things. Right? You'll be like Lot's wife. Remember Lot's wife? She tried to turn back and she turned into a pillar of salt. Most I said, don't look back at that kingdom. That kingdom is destroyed. Okay? Oh. So I'm looking like, damn, these people literally went to the bank. And the bank tells you, oh, your money's gone. And we don't know where it's at. Yeah. We have no account of it. You don't say, you know what? That's going to spark. You don't say, wait a minute. I have 5,000. You telling me I got 1,000 now? I want to take out 3,000 for my, my bills. You saying Bo had 12 million and he woke up with 12,000. Wow. Check that out. 12 million and woke up with 12,000, right? And I saw on, on, it was on NBC Nightly News, they came into the bank and it was a line of people. And the guy was like, it's not just me, it's y'all too, right? They was like, yeah, all of us. It was a line, whole line of people. So it's about to get crazy, man. Yeah, yeah, gone. It's getting, see, I see what happened during the holiday. Right, they, well, they they claim that was the weather, but that was an experiment too. They took advantage of the weather, but I think Southwest damn near shut down completely. You know what I'm saying? But they blamed it on the weather. Now some of it was the weather. I'd be the first one to tell you, don't fly me on no plane in nobody's blizzard or storm. But they use they use that to their advantage. They use that to shut everything down and see the reaction of the people, because they're going to so like yeah, they're going into um. They're going digital, you know what I'm saying? They want to cut off uh, the, the currency, you know what I'm saying? They want to make everything digital, which is a more of a way of a form to control you. So like, what you bringing I'm out? saying, I think that's the heart, too, because I was telling them earlier when I was driving trucks, it was a, a fog, thick fog from New Jersey all the way to Missouri. Wow, check that out. From New Jersey to Missouri, a thick fog? Damn. See that? Yeah. So, they, yeah, they got the HOP, the weather modification program. You know, I brought that out for many years. Uh, uh, the History Channel did, um, they did a special on that back in maybe like 05, like after Hurricane Katrina. It was called Weather or Not. Does the government have the power to control and manipulate the weather? Yes. So a lot of the, um, you know, a lot of the, the, uh, the people that was analyzing it said, well, technically, the weather, the government can't control a storm, but they can manipulate certain weather patterns, right? And this man is Satan, so the Most High, the Most High gave him the power to do that because everything comes from the Most High, okay? Uh -huh. So even that that whole shutdown during the so-called pagan season, that was all set up, man, because they're about to crash this economy. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it's about to get crazy out here. Okay? Uh -huh. Right? That's where they got them robots roaming around. Yeah. Right? Them robots, because they know the people about to get crazy is going to be, is going, is going to delve into chaos. So they know the people about to get buck wild and crazy. So we got something to control y'all. We're going to send the robots. Y'all going to be so crazy. We're going to send the robots out on y'all. Right? Go ahead. Uh, 1 Peter 5 and 6 to link with 1 Corinthians 7 and 30. Read that, King. 1 Peter 5, verse 6. Go ahead. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God. Right. We got to humble ourselves. You got to come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. Humble yourself. Stop being proud, puffed up. Learn to love each other. Be there for each other more. You brothers, you got to step up, man. You brothers got to step up, man, and help get this work done. Learn these precepts. Study. Apply yourself. You know, um, brothers, we we going to be dispatched. It's going to get so crazy with this truth, man. Brothers going to be all over the place doing this work. Somebody going to have to hold it down and keep it going. Okay? Yeah. You think we get a little busy now, man. This thing, when this thing fall, Israel going to be running from all over the place because they going to want answers. And that's the most High's prepping us now. Get these precepts. Strengthen your spirit. You know, get strong so you have to deal with the masses of the people because they going to come. When this system starts falling, they going to want answers. Okay? Uh -huh. Right, go ahead. Uh -huh. That he may exalt you in due time. The Lord said, humble yourself and he'll exalt you. All right, let's get our priorities in order. Anybody worried about the best camp and who's this and that? Like I talk about all the time. Every time you turn around, there's a new camp. Right, we the I-G-W-S-K-Y. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? All the damn letters in the alphabet. And you you worried about competition instead of doing this work in sincerity and truth. Okay? Uh -huh. Keeping up with the Joneses. They got 5,000 views. We're going to get 15,000 views. That's petty. That's nonsense, man. That's carnality. Okay? Uh -huh. Right? Get your priorities in order. Get serious about this work, and the most high will elevate the rest. Right? Come on. Casting all your care upon him. We got to cast all our care upon the most high in Yahweh Shah. Because your money in the bank, <laughs> it is not, it's not 100% sure, right? You might go there and it's gone, right? Go ahead. For he careth for you. Be sober. Be vigilant. The Lord said, cast all your care upon him because he cared for you. All right? He want to save his people. Be sober. Be vigilant. Go ahead. Because your adversary Because devil... Satan, by way of the so-called white man, the physical, his physical counterpart is Esau, the so-called white man. Right, go ahead. As a roaring lion. As a roaring lion. Go ahead. Walketh about. He walks about. Go ahead. Seeking whom he may devour. See that? Esau, Satan is out here and he wants to devour you. So you got to put everything on the Mosah so he can cover you with his angels. Okay? Right, right go ahead. Whom resists steadfast in the faith. You resist steadfast. When you stay firm in this faith, you resist Satan steadfast. Come on. Knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Go ahead. But the God of all grace, who have called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect. Make you what? Make you perfect. So being in this truth, you might suffer, right? You might go through the struggles and the trials and tribulations of being in this truth. But after that, the Most High going to bring you out and make you perfect in Yahweh Shai. Kind? Uh, right, jump over to um, <coughs> First Timothy 6 and 5. First Timothy 6 and 5. <coughs> to also link up with First Corinthians 7 and 30. That one was good, but I more so want this one. First, First Timothy 6 and 5. First Timothy verse, chapter 6, verse 5. When, when everybody it, have it, say kind. First Timothy 6 and 5. When everybody have it, say kind. Read that, King. First Timothy 6 and 5. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 5. Perverse disputings of men. Right. Perverse disputings of men. Go ahead. Of corrupt minds. Go ahead. And destitute of the truth. Go ahead. Supposing the gain is godliness. Supposing that gain is godliness. Like a lot of these churches, man. Oh, the Lord bless me. My bank account got six zeros behind it. What you got? The Lord blessed me. Right? Because what? They think their gain is godliness. Come on. From such withdraw thyself. What they call it? A uh, prosperity gospel. Uh, All right? It's not the gospel of the Most High Yahweh Shah. It's a prosperity gospel. If you're not prospering or have certain money and material things in this society, the Lord is not with you. And that's a dangerous way of thinking. Because you'll go to Bank of America and your money's not there. 
Okay? Because the most I said, you put your money in riches before me. You was uh, looking down on your brother because your bank account had a more a couple of more zeros right. than his. Right. See that? Money, you have to understand the balance of money. And money is a defense like the scriptures say. But it's nothing to worship or go crazy over in this society. Because the Lord said, as much as I give it to you, I could take it away. God, you can go to the Bank of America and it's not there. And they tell you they don't know where it's at. Your money is just on paper. It don't exist. Right? Go ahead. For uh, godliness with contentment. Godliness with contentment. Right? Godliness means righteousness. Righteousness keeping the commandments and being content with what the most I bless you with. Go ahead. It's great gain. That's great gain. Come on. For we brought nothing into this world. We didn't bring anything into this world. When you was born, you didn't have a $50,000 bank account. When you was born, you didn't have a Mercedes Benz. You didn't have the ice and the gold on. You didn't have the most fanciest house on the block. You was born basically butt naked, nothing. Coming out of the womb of your mother. Right? Come on. And it is certain. And it is certain. Come on. We can carry nothing out. We're not carrying nothing out of this kingdom but white robes that Yahweh Shai going to put on us. Everything in this society is going to be burnt up in nuclear fire. Right? So you can't take none of that. What's the saying? You can't take it with you. Right? right? You can't take it in death and you can't take it to the kingdom. Right? Go ahead. And having food. And raiment. Having the bare necessities that the Most High provide for you, go ahead. Let us be there content with. You got to be there That's with content. Right. Let us be there with content. Okay? Right. If the Most High is providing all your daily needs and necessities, you got to be happy and content with that. Right? Come on. But they that will be rich. The Lord said they that will be rich. Go ahead. Fall into temptation. They fall into temptation. Come on. And a snare. And a what? And a snare. And a snare. Go ahead. And into many foolish and hurtful lusts. Many foolish and hurtful lusts. You're doing all this stuff. You know, what's this um chick name? They say she's kind of crazy. But she's talking about all these people in the industry. Um, Right? Jaguar. Yeah. Jaguar, right. Okay. Now, she seem a little bugged out. But the stuff she's saying about the industry is not far-fetched. The selling of soul, the sacrificing, is not far-fetched. You know what I'm saying? The homosexuality, lesbianism, the gay stuff that go on. Hey, they try to put her out as a kook. But the stuff she's saying is not that far-fetched when you research Hollywood and the entertainment industry. You know what I'm saying? Because why? These people are selling their soul. They're willing to do anything for a dollar. And the spirit is coming on to people. You know, Kanye spoke up. Then uh, uh, Tory Lanez. The reason why they convicted Tory Lanez because he made a whole album exposing the industry. Right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They say, oh, you want to be rebellious? We got something for you. You know, so it's not far-fetched what she says. She might be bugged out in her own little way, but, you know, it's, the stuff she's saying about the industry is not far-fetched. You know what I'm saying? Right, go ahead. Hurtful lust. Um, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts. Go ahead. Which drown men in destruction. Which drown men in destruction. Go ahead. And perdition. And perdition, meaning a lot of times you're not going to make your way back to the most high once you sell your soul to this society. Once you do anything to make it in this world. Right? Come on. For the love of money. For the love of money. One of the most misquoted scriptures in the Bible. Right. Not money, but the love of money. A lot of people forget to put that word love before it. The love of money. Come on. Is the root of all evil. That's the root of all evil. That love of money. That covetousness of money. That uh, lust for money. That's what it is. Ain't nothing wrong with having money. You need money. But it's the lust and the covetousness of the money. Okay? Wow. There's a balance. You got to put everything in its proper perspective. Come on. Which while some coveted after. Right. Like I just said. That's the spirit. While some coveted after. You have a strong desire to have that money. You'll do anything to get it. Right. Come on. They have erred from their faith. They have what? They have erred from the faith. They have erred from the faith. You cannot focus on the most high and his truth and have the love and the covetousness for the money. Right? You can't make the money your God. You got to make the most high power your God. Right? Come on. And pierce themselves through with and many sorrows. And you pierce sorrows. yourselves through with what? Many sorrows. With many sorrows. Because a lot of times is the stuff you're doing. Like a brother in the New York camp, he was telling us he runs into a lot of his friends from in the world. And he said a lot of them, he, when he talked to them, he said the stuff that they doing to get money and to just the front on social media... He's like, yo, I'm not trying to do it. I'm just going to struggle, man. I'm not trying to do all. He said they telling them all kinds of stuff that they doing, all kinds of illegal stuff, 
sexual stuff, just anything to put up that front. And a lot of it is a front now, especially with this social media. Yeah. Everything is a show, you know what I'm saying? You don't know, you might have did the most demonic damn thing, right. but as long as you can get 7,000 likes on the gram, look at me. Look at, uh, uh, what's his name? A little wild Puerto Rican dude. Um, 69. Oh, yeah. Takashi 69. The man was holding a million dollars on the plane. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just holding a stack of million dollars sleeping on the plane. Come on, man. That's what you want. That's what your life consists of. Right. Just sitting on a plane holding a bunch of dirty paper. That's all it is. Right. You don't know where them dollar bills been at, man. He just sitting up there. This is my life. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's their God. They receive their consolation in this society. They don't love the most, huh? He loved that stack of money that's sitting on him. He's on a plane like this. A big stack of million, million dollars and hundred dollar right. bills. So what is that? What is that doing? How's that edifying our people? So now the youngins going to look at him. I got to be like 6'9". I got to do what 6 9 do. I got to get to that bag. Look at him. He's on a private jet. was sleeping with a million dollars on him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Foolishness, man. Pure foolishness. Right? Go ahead. But thou, O man of God, flee these things. It said, thou, O man of the Most High, flee these things. You see what they did to Kanye? Chase Banks said, yo, take your $120 million out of here. Right? We don't want your $100 Yo, get your money out of our bank. That money don't mean nothing. And a lot of the time, it's just on paper, as we've seen with Bank of America. It's just on paper. We say you had 12 million, then had 12,000? Yeah. yeah, see that? They cut some zeros yeah. off. <laughs> Come on, man. Now, imagine you do that to a million people. And the people got guns. Yeah. And they angry. Yeah. And you telling me, I can't withdraw $1,000 tonight to pay a couple of bills and go grocery shopping. I got four children in the house. Right. And that man got a he got a gun collection at home. Right, fifty guns. Fifty guns at home. <laughs> he coming back to that bank, and y'all gonna have that money for him. <laughs> Somebody gonna have that money. I gotta feed my children, God. I gotta pay my mortgage. Nah. So this is it's about to get crazy, man. Right? Come on. But thou, old man of God. And so, like you, this is gonna humble Israel because Israel get proud, and Israel ain't got a damn thing, man. In the truth and out, you broke as hell, man, compared to Esau and the other nations. Right? You ain't got nothing compared to the other. The Israel get a car and get proud. Yeah. Yeah. Esau's like, man, I, I buy my child a Benz at 18. Yeah. When he graduates high school, he gets a Benz. Right? If Jake got a little car, he proud. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nah, these material things, they're just utilized for us to get by in this kingdom. Huh. Right? Come on. But thou, O man of God, But Bank, Bank of America going to take care of that. Right, go ahead. And follow after righteousness. Follow after what? Follow after righteousness. No, your bank account. Follow after righteousness. Your six zeros in Bank of America. And follow after righteousness. Your seven zeros in Bank of America. No, follow after righteousness. Follow after righteousness. The most I bless you with the money and the material things, you use it for your family, yourself, and to help build up the nation. Con? Right. Huh? And that's all it was for. Con? Huh? Right, go ahead. Godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. So that's it on that. Go back to 1 Corinthians 7 and 30. So you see that? The Most High is not playing, man. This is this is a serious time that we live in. I said, man, imagine, man, you go to the bank and your money's just gone. Gone? Gone. Your money's just gone. So you got to put your focus, you know, um... You know, it's not to say tomorrow go and just take all your money out the bank. You and the truth and the most I can protect you from that. Okay? Uh, but just be mindful that at any time he can bring any kind of judgment on this society. Especially financially because that's where a lot of the pride lies. Read that again. 1 Corinthians 7 and 30. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 30 when everybody ever say, Con. Con. And they that wait, they that weep as though they weep, wept not. Good. And they that rejoice as though they rejoice not. Come on. And they that buy as though they possess not. Come on. And they that use this world as not abusing it. Use this world, but don't abuse it. Don't get too caught up into this world. Go ahead. For the fashion of this world. Everything of this world. Go ahead. Passeth away. Is going to pass away. This whole system is going to collapse. Okay. Uh -huh. Right. Go ahead. But I will have you without carefulness. He that is unmarried. Oh, that's it on that. Go to um, 2 Ezra's in the Apocrypha 6 
and 22. Get a classic real quick. Second, there's a six and 22. We're just going to get a few more. I just want to touch on this topic because it's, it's getting serious, man. Along with everything else that's happening out here. You know, that Bank of America situation was real, man. You know, so <laughs> you go to a bank, man, and they tell you, uh, you know, I'm sorry, but uh, 75% of your money's missing. And we don't know where it's at, right? And I want to take out 75%. You know, however, mother, whatever the limit is, they allow you to withdraw. Okay? Right, read that, King. And suddenly, uh, Second Ezra 6, 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The Lord said the, suddenly the sown place is going to appear unsown. Oh, I'm, I'm going to go to the bank and uh, get out 3000 today. Oh, your money's not there. Your sown place is unsown. The bank is empty. And the tellers and the, and the, and the manager that, oh, we don't know. Uh, we don't know. You got to call customer service. Right? Like That's like almost like I hand you $5,000 in cash and say, hey, put this up in this, this safe for me right here. I'm going to come get a couple dollars tomorrow. And I come back and you say, well, I, it's not there. Um, you got to call. You got to call Joe over here. <laughs> but I gave it to you and told you to put it here. What do you mean? Right? It's the same concept. Oh, your money's not here. You got to call customer service. But that's the most high doing that to this system. Right? Read on. The full storehouses shall uh, uh, suddenly be found empty. The full storehouses are going to suddenly be found empty. Good. And the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. See that? That trumpet going to give that sound. When every man hear, they're going to be suddenly afraid. That trumpet, that sound, at the second coming of Yahweh Shai. Okay? Right, okay. go ahead. And at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. Right, it's going to be race wars out here, man. Friends going to fight one against another like enemies. Go ahead. And the earth shall stand in fear. Right, the, um... The Edomite God told a brother, I think it was down in Atlanta. I think the brother was a FedEx driver or a UPS, one of them. And he told him, come on, get out, get out that truck. He was calling them all kinds of N-words. And he said, get out that truck, and I'm going to show you how much black lives don't matter. It's the Edomite told Jacob. <laughs> right? He said, get out that truck. I'm going to show you how much black lives don't matter. I guess he probably do a little training or whatever. He was cocky. Yeah. He probably felt he could take Jake. But you can only take the Jake that's weak and don't have the right spirit. Right. You ain't going to take the Jake that's trained and got the right spirit. Right. And the most high is with him. Kind? Kind. That's why everything, we got to put our trust in the most high. It's going to get serious out here. Man told him, get out the truck and I'll show you how much black lives don't matter. They just killed the, um, they choked the guy out here in L.A. He was the cousin to the girl that found it, the so-called girl that found the Black Lives Matter. They choked him out out here on, um, damn, was it on Florence or? It was right out here, like two weeks ago. I didn't hear about that. Uh, yeah, they tased him and then choked, I don't know. They said he was on cocaine or whatever, but they basically killed him. And he said, they're, they're trying to George Floyd me. But it's not funny. Wow. <laughs> it's not funny because they killed the brother, but the man said, they're trying to George Floyd me. Y'all saw that, right? He said, they're trying to, they try to George Floyd me. And they did. They killed the man. You know what I'm saying? And nothing. It's, it's been quiet as a church mouse. I thought L.A. was going to turn up. You know what I'm saying? I thought, oh, we're we going back to 92, Rodney King. So, oh, L.A. about to turn up. Nothing. And he was the cousin of the, the so-called girl that founded Black Lives Matter. They tased and choked that brother to death. But they, what they trying to do, I see what they doing. They playing him off like he was bugged out. Like he was on drugs and bugged out and uh, you know, he, he saw if he could throw some dirt on you, then he could they could downplay it. But nothing. That's, I think it's been like two weeks. No uprising, nothing. I think Jake going get off the block and let's go, let's go wild out for our brother. No Rodney King riots part two. Okay? That's why the scripture say in Genesis, who shall rouse him up? It's like what is it gonna take to get Jake roused up? To fight back. Like who's going like what's gonna get him to fight back? Okay? Uh -huh. Right, go ahead. Alright. Slaki and they and they Slaki. The springs of the fountains shall stand. Oh, uh, read Slaki, read twenty two again. Read twenty two, okay. Yeah. 
And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The sown places are going to appear unsown. Go ahead. The full storehouses. The full shall, storehouses. Go ahead. Shall suddenly be found empty. They're going to be found empty, man. Most are going to rock and roll this place. Come on. And the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. Right. So go from there to Proverbs 11 and 4. Give Proverbs 11 and 4. Just a few more. We're going to wind it down. It's so much to talk about, man, but that bank that Bank of America situation kind of stuck out with me, man. Because when you when you start messing with that money, you start messing with that money, man. You start messing with people's what? Livelihood. Right. All right. Matter of fact, um, get that one. We're going to get another one in Syrac. Um, Proverbs 11 and 4. Get the class. Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness... But righteousness delivereth from death. So always keep that in mind. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. Right? And the Lord said the day of wrath, because why? The riches ain't gonna be there. Right? You ain't gonna be trying, you ain't gonna be thinking about an ATM card when all hell break loose. You ain't gonna be thinking about a Wells Fargo. You know what I'm saying? A sudden robot chasing you down the street. And you worried about your ATM card. I need to get 500 out the bank. That robot gonna say, stop, Negro. This is a direct police order. All Negroes stop in your tracks. <laughs> right? You can think about a goddamn chase, damn card, man. All oh, hell gonna break loose, God. So, you know, prepare, man. You gotta fortify yourself spiritually. We living in serious times. All right, God? God. Right, read on. The righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way. Go ahead. But the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. Right, the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness, man. All right, go to uh, Proverbs 22, 22. From there. Read Proverbs 22, 22. Proverbs 22, verse 22. Rob not the poor because he is poor. Right, and I was watching on a um, financial report. I think it was on NBC News also. And this Edomite woman was up there. She was a financial analyst, and she was saying it. She said, what's about to happen? Most of the people, they're not even, they're not even aware of what's going on behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. All the banks are about to go digital. Yeah. yeah. And she said, what, she said, what happened with Bank of America is what's about to happen with most financial institutions. Wow. And she said, the public is not even aware of it. Read that again, King. Rob, not the poor. You know the elites? The Illuminati, the so-called 1%, the elites, that's not going to happen to them. But see, when you do research, most major kingdoms, their economies collapsed before they fell. And the most are going to do the same thing to Babylon, America, Esau, the Illuminati, the world powers. Con, right? Come on. Proverbs 22, verse 22. Rob not the poor because he is poor. And you know what? Basically, what Solomon is saying is, listen. They're going to take your money because they can. <laughs> They're going to rob the poor because you poor. Because you ain't got no power. Go ahead. Uh, right, go ahead. Neither oppress the afflicted. Neither oppress the afflicted. Go ahead. In the gates. And you know, if you if the Most High and Yahweh Shah is not with us, who is that going to affect the most? Israel. Go ahead. Uh, now, if the Most High and Yahweh Shah is with you, I don't know, some way, somehow, you can keep your million dollars. Uh, or everybody else suffering. God. But if the Spirit ain't with you, Right? They're going to press the afflicted in the gate. That money going to be gone. Right? Go to Syrac 34 and... Um, let me see what I want. 34 and 21. You going to say something? Right. Syrac 34 and 21. When everybody have it, say Khan. Syrac chapter 34 and verse 21. Read that, King. So, right, 34, verse 21, the bread of the needy. The bread of the needy, go ahead. Is their life. Is their what? Is their life. Is their life, man. Now, we should say back in New York, yo, I'm dead, son. I ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? I'm dead and stinking. Because <laughs> it's like, I can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, Jake used to be like, yo, pocket's That's dead, right, man. Yes, right, read it again. The bread of the needy. The bread of the needy, come on. Is their life. Is their life, right? Come on. He that defrauded him. He that defrauded him. You're a, hard, you're a hard working man. You go to Bank of America and they say, yo, your, your, your $8,000 is now 2200 You know what I'm saying? 
That's your money. That's your, that's your life. Even though we know money's not everything, but that's your livelihood. Okay? Uh -huh. Right? Go ahead. He that defrauded him thereof is a man of blood. Yeah, see that? Back back in the in the hood, back in New York, but we used to literally say that. Yo, I ain't got no money. I'm dead, son. I'm I'm dead today. I ain't got nothing. I, yo, I can't hang out. Oh, your man caught your son. We going out tonight. We going. Yo, what up? Yo, it's nah, son. I ain't going. I'm dead, son. And cats automatically knew what you was talking about. Oh, son, you ain't got no money? I got you. All right, don't worry about it. They automatically knew you ain't got, I'm dead, I can't do nothing. It's like I can't live. Okay? Right, go ahead. Or what Jake said, I'm trying to eat. I'm trying to eat. I'm trying to eat. What do you do? You eat to live. Okay? You put, you nourish your body so, you know, your organs can function. Right. So Jake be like, yo, I ain't, I, yo, you're just trying to eat, son. Right. What, that money is going to be able to buy me food. Right? So read again from the top, Salakia. The, Sarak 3421. The bread of the needy. The bread of the needy. Remember, money, uh, another slang for money is bread. Right? Come on. Is their life. Is their what? Is their life. That's their life. Come on. He that defrauded him thereof is a man of blood. Like, when people ask you about your job, they say what? How do you make a living? Right. Okay? Right. How do you live? Right? When, um, that movie with Denzel, uh, Devil in a Blue Dress, the older actor, he's like, he's like, hey. You gonna look for a job? And uh Denzel was like, I ain't I ain't studying no job. I ain't worried about no job. I mean he was like, I got money saved up or whatever. And then Jake was like, Well, how you gonna live? Because what? That's your livelihood. That's your life. That's how you live. How you make your living. Right? Bank of America said your living is gone. I took it. It ain't there. <laughs> you can call customer service if you want it. So wait, I just worked. So many years to save up this amount of money only for you to tell me it's gone? Right, go ahead. <laughs> he that taketh away his neighbor's living. He that taketh away his neighbor's living. Go ahead. Slayeth him. He do what? Slayeth he him. He slay him. He kills him. You take away his livelihood. Like I said, the, the scriptures is on point, man. Certain sayings that people have in society is straight out the scriptures. Read that again. He that taketh away his neighbor's living. He that take away his neighbor's living. Yo, how you make a living? Right, go ahead. Slay of him. Slay of him. That's why they're, they're, uh, there's institutionalized racism with the job market. A lot of times, Jay, they say that's a stereotype. Black man need to get up and get a job. A lot of times, Jake is trying to get a job. They won't give it to him God. because they cutting off his living. They know that's going to destroy his family structure. That's going to make his woman frustrated. All right, you need to start bringing some money in here, Negro. <laughs> you know, Eve, but Eve gonna give you that finger, right? And you're like, I'm trying, baby. No, nah, you gotta, you gotta try harder. He saw know what he's doing. He's he's destroying the family structure. That's not an excuse to not get out there and do what you gotta do. Of course, we know that. Karen? Sometimes Esau also they'll they'll hire you, and then they'll they'll wait till you get to like the top pay. Mm -hmm. And then they'll fire you, so then they'll bring in a new cast, so he can be at the bottom pay and do the same job. Right. Mm -hmm. They'll or they'll have you. They'll be bold enough to train, have you train, wow. uh, Edomite, and then give and then fire you, yeah. and give them your position. Yeah. I mean, we worked in a um, we worked in a museum in Brooklyn years ago. I think this was like the early, like about ninety ninety one. And um, we all working in the museum. We doing manual labor. You know, brother got forklifts. We building pallets. We wrapping packages to be shipped. We picking and packing all, all doing all the heavy warehouse labor. White girl coming in. Either my girl, she, she just came out of nowhere. They hired her, whatever she came in. And she would just be sitting at her desk all day. And we just walking by her looking like, yo, what does she do? She don't even get on the, the old school computers back then. She's not writing nothing. She's playing with her nails on the phone. So we are, we, we, you know, lifting and packing and driving forklifts and all kinds of stuff. So everybody looking for like a month. What, what does she do? You know, she's on the phone. She's, you know, one of the brothers came to us, you know, say, yo. That's one of the manager's homegirl's daughter. He told her, yo, can, y can you give my daughter a job because she's just sitting around the house not doing nothing? And he said, okay. He just gave her, just, just hired her and let her sit at a desk all day. Just because his friend said, give my daughter a job. She's sitting around the house all day. See that? 
And we doing all the manual labor. We making three, four, five dollars an hour, whatever minimum wage was back then. Right. 1991. We barely getting a hundred and fifty dollar, two hundred dollar check every week. You gotta do all kinds of overtime. And she just sitting there. Then she was getting like, we heard she was getting like seven, eight dollars an hour. Right. And to do nothing. She she come dressed up every day, play with her nails, and I I remember it. We was working at a Metropolitan Museum warehouse in uh, Queens, New York. See, that's, so that's what they do, man. They, they financially oppress us also because they know that's going to help destroy us. Yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to definitely cause problems in the household. Okay? Mm. going to definitely cause problems in the marriage, the household, the family structure. It causes frustration. You can't pay for the bare minimum things or whatever. Esau know what he's doing. Okay? No. Right, go ahead. Hey. He that defraudeth the laborer of his hire is a bloodshedder. Is a what? Is a bloodshedder. See that? If you defraud your neighbor of his hire, that's, you might as well kill him. You might as well shed his blood. You telling me I went out there and worked. I saved up $12,000 from my job. And I come and I only got $1,000 in the bank. Or worse, $12 million or $12,000. I'm missing some zeros. Right. What? I work for that money? That's my money that I earned? And I trust your financial institution to take care of it. So that Bank of America situation is going to get real. Okay? Right. Go ahead. When one buildeth and another pull it down, what profit have they then but labor? Yeah, see that? Damn, all I did, I worked all this time, saved up this money. You just going to take my money? Right. Where's the profit in that? I just worked for nothing. Right. That's why Syrac said, where's the profit in your labor? What profit, but you, but, but, all you can do is say, well, I worked, but I don't have my money no more. Right. What profit is it, God? Right. right, go ahead. When one prayeth and another curseth, whose voice will the Lord hear? Right, when one prayeth and another curseth, whose voice is the Lord going to hear? So you got to pray, stay in the spirit of the Most High, make sure the Lord, you know, ask the Lord to protect you in these last days. And if you're doing the right thing in these commandments, the Most High could keep you from that. Okay? Uh -huh. So, you know, this has happened before over the years with other banks, but we live in some serious times. Okay? Uh -huh. So the, the, the finances of this society is not going to necessarily save you. The love of the most high keeping the commandments. Okay? Uh -huh. Go to um first John. First John two and fifteen, and we'll see so on that. We'll revisit this because it's probably more gonna come out and it might be more banks next. Or it might, you know, the most high. He might quiet it down, and then it pop back up. Because that's how the most high work. He 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 want to test your faith. Oh, ain't nothing happening now, so we can go back to normal. Everything is cool. Then bam, go to Chase Bank. They ain't got nobody's money. Cause that's how the most high work, man. That's why you got to always stay on point, because you never know. Yeah, how was I come, said I come as a thief? Right, read that, King. The book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 15. Would everybody have it, say, Khan? Khan. Khan. Love not the world. Love not the world. Go ahead. Neither the things that are in the world. Neither the things that are in the world. Come on. If any man love the world. If any man love the world. Go ahead. The love of the Father is not in him. And what happens when people love their money, their material things, they love this world. Go ahead. For all that is in the world. All that is in this world. Come on. The lust of the flesh. The lust of the flesh. Go ahead. And the lust of the eyes. And the lust of the eyes. Go ahead. And the pride of life. And the what? And the pride of life. See that people get proud with their material things, with their money, their riches, their wealth. That's why the most High make things happen like he made happen with Bank of America. To show the people, you better put your trust in me. Right, go ahead. It's not of the Father. It's not of the Father, go ahead. But it's of the world. It's of the world, go ahead. And the world passes away. Yeah, that money ain't going to be there no more. They're going to dead you on your money. Right, go ahead. And the lust thereof. And the lust thereof, because people lust after the money. I got to get to that bag. Right, people want to be a Takashi 6 ix 9 I'm going to sleep on a plane with a million dollars stacked on me. Right, go ahead. But he that doeth the will of the God, will of God. He that doeth the will of Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. Abideth forever. Do what? Abideth forever. Abideth forever. You got to do the will of the Most High. The Lord don't care who you are in the street. He don't care how much money you get, how much you get into the bag. The Lord don't care about none of that. Okay? Uh -huh. Look at a uh, uh, young thug in them. Oh, yeah. Right? Rico charges. Uh -huh. Right? All that money, rapping, all that. And you get caught up in some street madness, man. 
You know what I'm saying? Like like uh, the rapper Mano said, we supposed to come into the rap, let it make money for us, get it, get us out the hood, and start building to try to get the rest of our people out the hood. You cats going right back and getting shot, killed. You know, cats out in the middle of uh, Jim Jones and them out in Harlem telling Memphis Bleak, you can come see us. Come on, man. You got you got gray hair, dude. Come on. Are you serious? Yo, we outside. You yo, you you don't wear ice like us. Come on, you like 50 years old, man. Wow. You still doing that? Yo, 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 we outside right here in Harlem, yo. You can come see us, yo. Come on, stop it. You got salt and pepper hair, man. But that's where Jake's spirit is at, man. Kern, you all that money and stuff you make, you supposed to build with that. You ain't supposed to just have all that so you could just floss it. You supposed to take that and build with it, man. Oh, hold up. We sitting on 10 mil. We sitting on 20 mil. Yo, we could do something with this. We can build with this, you know. So let's build some affordable housing over here. Let's build a business over here. Hire our people, whatever. And build from it. Yeah, we rapped about what happened in the hood because that was our story. But we pulling out of that now. And you know what happened? A lot of rappers said that. But the record company was like, no. You're going to keep rapping about killing each other? A lot of rappers like, yo, I'm just telling the story of how we came. Or how, but yo, eventually, man, I'm going to start kicking something for the people. Now, nah, Esau was like, nope. Keep that negative stuff going if you want to sell. That's what Kanye was talking about. Kanye? Kanye. Should they sit to Kashi 690 sitting on a plane? I mean, that's the perception to give to the youth. That's what you got to try to be. No man of the Lord, no commandments, no Bible, no scriptures, no teaching your people. No, 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 no. Sit with that million dollars on your lap. You got to try to be like that. And Lord knows what the hell Takashi done did to get that. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. That guy got rainbow hair. and it just, <laughs> you, you, you could tell he, he done did all kinds of satanic stuff, man. Because that's what they got to do. They got to, you know. That's what that, that, that sister Jaguar, right? She's probably not far-fetched from the stuff she's saying. You seen uh, Nelly on stage the other day and he, his yeah. eyes rolled in the back of his yeah. head and then he threw up the baffle mat like yeah. two, three or two or three times. Yeah. I ain't never seen Nelly like that, man. Never, really. The man's eyes was rolling in the back of his head and he and he threw up the baffle mat. I don't even want to imitate it. He threw up the baffle mat to yeah. Satan's horns like three times. Yeah, yeah he and Nelly looks scary, man. Yeah. yeah, I used to watch Nelly perform, you know, videos, whatever. I ain't never seen him look like that. His eyes was like this in the back, and he and he did it like two or three times. His eyes rolled. I said, "Damn, it's demonic as hell in that industry, man." Yeah, and the song that he was playing, didn't yeah, have no reason for him to act like that. right, exactly. <laughs> no reason. What was the other one where them eight people died? That was a damn ritual. Uh, Travis Scott. Oh yeah. Yeah, remember tra oh, Travis yeah. Scott concert, and yeah. the people got trampled. That was a demonic uh, a ritual, man. He was when the, when the trampling started. He was on stage singing some demonic song. So this thing is the dark side, man. You know what I'm saying? So repent, keep the commandments, come back to the Most High. Con, uh -huh. right? Riches profit not, man. Watch out for that Bank of America, because that can be any bank right now. And if the Most High ain't with you, that money could be gone. Con, uh -huh. all right. So go from there to um, get a couple of new moon scriptures and close it out. Go to First Chronicles 23. First Chronicles 23, and we're going to start at 30. First Chronicles chapter 23, verse 30. And everybody Ooh, have it? Say second. Time. Yeah, First Chronicles 23 and 30. Everybody have a say, huh? So this was Solomon. We were setting up the Levites over the temple to keep the sacrifices and offerings to the Most High. First Chronicles 23 and started 30. Uh, verse 30. First Chronicles 23, verse 30. And to stand every morning to thank and praise the Lord, Yahweh, and likewise at even. Right, because remember, even from the time of Abraham, Israel, we had an evening and a morning sacrifice. Because that was to give praise to the Most High throughout the day, continually throughout the day. At even when the day started and at morning when the daylight started, which would be a complete, uh, you know, day. Giving praise to the Most High. Go ahead. And to offer all burnt sacrifices 
unto the Lord in the Sabbaths, in the new moons, and on the set feast, by number and according to the order commanded unto them, continually before the Lord Yahweh. Good. And that they should keep the charge of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the charge of the holy place, and the charge of the sons of Aaron, their brethren, in the service of the house of the Lord. Yahweh. Right. So when he was setting up Salakia, the, uh, the temple, he had set up the priests in the order for the Levites to keep all the sacrifices on the feast days, the new moons, and all appointed days of the Most High. Okay. I right, go from there to Numbers 10 and 10. Numbers chapter 10, verse 10. The book of Numbers chapter 10, verse 10. Everybody have it, say, Khan. Khan. Numbers 10 and 10. The book of Numbers, chapter 10, verse 10. Also, in the day of your gladness, and in your solemn days, and in the beginning of your month. Right, so tonight at even is the beginning of our month, the dark moon. Of course, you know, we always go over this. Some congregations, they might celebrate tomorrow or the next day. They go by the first slither or the first um, light. Some people uh, say the full moon is the new moon. All right. But um, it, it makes no sense to me. Something can't be full and new at the same time. It grows into being full. Kind? Right. It's just common sense. But some brothers believe the full moon. You know, knock yourself out. You know, um, Paul said we see through a glass. But when Yahweh shall come, all things will be made perfect. So when Yahweh shall come, he's going to say, bam, this is the right new moon. Everybody going to shut down and keep that new moon of your house shy. Good? Right? But we believe from our understanding, it's just, it just common sense to us. But some brothers say it's common sense that the full moon would be the new moon. But the scriptures never, the scriptures either refer to the moon as full or new. It uses two different terminologies. So why would it refer to it as full certain times and then new? Because they're two different cycles. The full moon is at its completion. It's not new. It grew into being full. Like somebody say, I'm fully grown. But before you were fully grown, you was a, a, a little specimen in your mother's belly. Okay? Right. Now you're fully grown. You went from that beginning stage, from your father's loins to your mother's womb, and now you're fully grown. Okay? Right. Now you're completely there, but you were new. You were a newborn baby. That was the beginning stage. You had to grow to be full. Okay? Right. right, go ahead. You shall blow with the trumpets over your burnt offering and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings that they may be to you for a memorial before your God. Right, that may be a, a memorial before your power. Okay? So we came together for the Lord's new moons. Go to um, Psalms 81. Yeah, Psalms 81. Um, three and four. Psalms 81, three and four. Uh -huh. You know, basic new moon scriptures. We go over monthly. There's tons more, but three. we just hit the quick ones. 81 verse three. Psalms 81, three and four. The book of Psalms, chapter 81, verse three. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon in the time appointed on our solemn feast day. Right, this is our solemn feast day. We're supposed to come together in sincerity and truth. Go ahead. For this was a statue for Israel. A statue for Israel. Go ahead. And a law of the God of Jacob. And is a law of the power of Yaquah. So this is a law. It's found in Numbers. It's found in Leviticus 23. It's found in the book of Deuteronomy. The new moon is a law. All right. We're supposed to come together for it. Okay. All right. Go to um, 1 Maccabees 10.33. Uh, two or three more we're going to close out. First Maccabees 10, read 33 and 34. Um, the book of Maccabees, the first book of Maccabees, chapter 10, verse 33. Moreover, I freely set at liberty every one of the Jews that were carried captives out of the land of Judea into any part of my kingdom. And I will that all my officers remit the tributes even of their cattle. Furthermore, I will that all the feasts and Sabbaths 
and new moons and solemn days and the three days before the feast. Three days before the feast, go ahead. And the three days after the feast go ahead. shall be all of immunity and freedom for all the Jews in my realm. Kind. So basically the Most High is letting us know that even during the time of the Maccabees, we kept the uh, feast days and the new moons. All right. Um, go from there to uh, Luke 21. Luke 21. Let's get to the point. Start at 25. The book of Luke chapter 21, verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth. Distress of nations. Right, and we've been seeing all the chariot sightings. All the chariot sightings, they, they just coming out with them left and right. Right? Go ahead. With perplexity. And all other kind of strange stuff they just seeing in the sky that they can't explain. Right? Go ahead. The sea. They said the weather during the holiday season. It might have been the chariot. Right. <laughs> might have been the chariot shut all them planes down. They're like, we ain't flying nowhere. What the hell is that? Right? Go ahead. The sea and the waves roaring. Go ahead. Men's hearts failing them for fear. The nation's in an uproar. And you notice since, um, since, uh, what's his name? Belinsky, the president of Ukraine. Since he came over here, they've been attacking Russia more because they got the weapons from America. But because Biden and them, they promised them more money and they promised them more high powered weapons. So they've been hitting Russia more. It's all set up, but you know, it's all staged and set up, but. No, since he came here, they've been turning it up on Russia. All right, so the most size is a light war now. It's an internet war now. It's a social media war now. But it's going to escalate. Come okay? Into that nuclear, uh, third world's nuclear destruction. Come on. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. Go ahead. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. What did the Lord say? For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. The powers of the heaven shall be shaken. Because they're going to be looking at what the Lord is doing on earth. People are in fear, man. They see certain things. Go ahead. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with power and great glory. And when they, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for the, your redemption draweth nigh. Right. So when you see these things happening on the earth, you know Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah is coming soon. Okay? Right. right. Uh, Colossians 2, 16, 17. Close it out on that. Book of Colossians chapter chapter two verse sixteen. When everybody had it, say con. 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 Let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink. Don't let a man judge you in meat or in drink. Go ahead. Or in respect of a holy day. Go ahead. Or of the new moon. Go ahead. Or of the Sabbath days. Come on. Which are a shadow of things to come. Shadow of things to come. Go ahead. But the body is of Christ. The body is of Hamashiach Yahushai. Fine. By Hashem Hamashiach Yahushai. So don't let a man judge you, man. Let's keep these feasts to the best of our ability. You know, um, don't always look at things on the surface. Have faith in the Most High. Don't doubt. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Don't worry about what somebody else got or don't have. Just do the most you can where you at. Khan? If you're comfortable in your skin, then do the best you can. Um, Solomon said, when you put your mind to anything, put all your heart and spirit into it. I'm paraphrasing, but you know. So, you know, do your works, Israel. You know, we know there's a lot out there and it's, 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 it's looks, it's, it's all fine. But do what you got to do for the most high of Mashiach Yahweh And do the most you can where you at. Wherever you're going to be, serve the most high to your fullest. Kind? Because while you, you busy, just worry about what somebody else doing. You're not focusing on what you're supposed to be doing. Kind? By Shema Mashiach Yahushai. So any questions or comments? What was that last one? Colossians. Colossians 2, 16 and 17. Any questions or comments? No, so we're going to close out in prayer. Do the anointing, eat, drink, and be merry. Kind? Salakia, so but um, we're trying to get this Passover together. Passover is April 3rd, 2023. It's on a Monday. It will be in New York City. Yeah, West Coast people don't like to travel. but <laughs> Come on East, man. Come on. You got ample time. Start booking your tickets and everything now. But New York can be pricey. So 
we're trying to get uh, some discounts, though. We're trying to get a room block in a hotel, and we're going to do it real nice. So that's why I had to take care of that tonight so I can seal that date. Because Simeon don't play, man. You don't get that. They'll rent it to somebody else. You know, Simeon loved the party in New York. So they'll have a, a party till damn 3 in the morning on a Monday night. <laughs> and blow up up. sorry that day is gone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I had to take care of that. I had to get, get that done tonight. So get that contract sealed. So, um, you know, if your brothers and sisters can make it, make it up top, man, to New York. You know, you'll meet all the brothers and sisters. And um, it'll be a beautiful time, man. You know, we always have a beautiful time for the Lord's Passover. Okay? Uh -huh. You meet a lot of brothers and sisters, new people, whatever. But um, if not, they're supposed to be, um, I think they're having some kind of unity Passover out here in L.A. Uh, one of the brothers invited me. I got to get the details. But, um, you know, we want the HR family, man. We want everybody to try to come together, make that sacrifice, spend that money. But if you can't, you know, times is hard on the boulevard, work schedule, bills, whatever. Um, there'll be something local, okay? And then um, we maybe put, probably do a closing here. I'm going to see how everything go. But the opening, we always open with the whole congregation coming together in a state, okay? Next year or the year following, we're thinking about coming out here. But we eventually, if we're still here, um, me and the rest of the leaders, we talked about uh, coming to L.A., okay? We're going to come out west, do the Passover out here. Hopefully the chariots come before that. Kind? By sure, by Shiak Yavishai. But this year, if you if you're trying to make it, get it now. It's sealed. We got the spot. Everything is locked in. It'll be in New York. Like I said, Monday, April 3rd, 2023. We're gonna make a whole week out of it. Especially the weekend. We know everybody may not be able to stay the full time, but it's gonna be events Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday will be the Passover and that Tuesday. So it's going to be like events for five days. Okay? We'll have our itinerary and everything printed out. So um, that's why I just came to eat and drink. <laughs> but that's why I was tired of a little bit. I, if I, I take care of that contract, man, tomorrow somebody would have stole our date. Man. So they, they move fast. They, they, you know, they party in the spring and all that. And they party every day of the damn week. They don't care. And it's something to celebrate every day. You know, so um, I had to get that locked in if we wanted to uh, pull up to New York for the Passover. Okay? Uh, and Purim will be coming up, um, I think it's March 5th. We're not going to do all three days. We're going to do it uh, March the 5th. We're going to do it that Saturday. Because Purim this year is the day of Judas Maccabees and the two days of Purim. is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're going to come together on that Saturday. I think it's March 5th. I got the calendars. Um... So everybody that, you know, put in for tonight, we'll use that for uh, the, uh, I'll probably get a nice size Airbnb for um, the program. Okay? Uh -huh. All right, so that's that. Any questions or comments? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to see everybody in New York. <laughs> Quiet as a church mouse. <laughs> I don't know to catch you when you come back. Happy Passover. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, the brothers, uh, uh, Priest Thou Woman um, reached out to me. They having something out here with like a couple of caps. So that's a um, that's a, a backup plan for those that may not be able to travel. You got the information on that? Uh, I looked at it again. It's not much yet. I, I'll ask him to update me because what he texts is, is not much. All right. Um, I think they were just throwing an idea out there trying to see what camps would participate. So um, I, I guess I had a, I'll, I'll hit them and get more information. Okay? Um, but that'll be that. So uh, let's gear up and um, everybody try to make it, man. Come on, East, man. Let us show y'all a good time in New York. Okay? <laughs> no. All right, so that's that. Any more questions or comments? All right. I'm um, going to close out. Imagine we're upon your Jerusalem, stand and face Jerusalem on the East. Um, give me another, uh, flash. Fire burn.
Oh, um, give me two cups, sis. Hallelujah. 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 Repeat the Hebrew only drink offering. Blessed are you, Yahweh, that gives us the fruit of the vine. Barakat the Yahweh. Hahawa'ah. The Thunanawa. Apaya. Hagapan. Blessed are you, Yahweh, that gives us the light to see. Barakat the Yahweh. Hahawa'ah. The Thunanawa. Ha'awa. Lara'ah. Blessed are you, Yahweh, that gives us the ram's horn to call the people. Barakat the Yahweh. Hahawa'ah. The Thunanawa. Hakwarun. Washawapa. Wakwara. Ha'ain. Bahashem. Hamashiach. Yahweh Shai. The water. The yard. I will own. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come in, All right. Lord's Prayer, repeat after me. Abanawa, Shabashamayam, Kodash, Haya, Shamka, Yahawa, Lakwafka, Daba'a, Aratazaka, Haya, Aisha, Baratazar, Kawa, Haya, Bashamayam, Betananawa, Lacham, Ko, Yuwam, Masalak Nawa, Kabawafi Nawa, Kasalak Nawa, Kabawafi Nawa, Walaa, Abiyai Nawa, Banasaya Wan, Abol, Abashai Nawa, Man, Rai, Kaya, Laka, Amalakwaf, Wa Allah, Wata Paraf, Lai Walam Yum, Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come here, shalom. Our Father, Yahweh, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 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 Bashem, Hamashiach, Yahawashah, the water, the yard, I will long, Amen. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Come in, Shalom. All right, sisters, come up, get anointed. All the sisters, oh, uh, Kareem and Danielle. All right, anointing prayer. Y'all yeah, know the routine. Um, as we pray, ask the Most High for forgiveness, blessings, sisters, be a better daughter. Mother, sister, wife, you know, anything you're going through, struggling with health issues, anything, problems, whatever, anything Satan trying to attack you on, ask the most how to, you know, alleviate it now as we pray over y'all. Say the anointing prayer, go right to left three times, say your name, we repeat it, you receive your anointing and your blessing. 
Kind. Repeat after me, Kazak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ya Baraki Yahawa. Ya Baraki Yahawa. Ya Shamaka. Ya Ah Yahawa. Han Yahawa. Ah Yaka. Wa Ya Hanka. Ya Sha Yahawa. Han Yahawa. Ah Yaka. Wa Ya Shamlaka. Shalom. Yahawa. Ba Shem. Hamashiak. Yahu Shai. Hobo Kushok. Shemai. Nawa. Aita. Shalak. My Gala, Walahayum, La, Shema Ayo, Barak, Rapa, Aizar, Magun, Kazak, Hatazayel, Kwawa, Zamora, 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 Zanai, 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 Zakara, 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 Elizabeth, 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 Kaylin, 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 Zara, 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 Karima, 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 Ahabia, 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 Danielle, 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 Cole, Akim, Cole, Aquafium, Cole, Bunyum, Yasha'ala, Bashim, Hamashiach, Yahawashai, the water, the Myan, Agulum, Amen. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Akim, brothers, come up. Hallelujah. Get anointed, get your blessing. Oh. Lean up a little bit so it don't run down your head yet. There you go. Okay. Lean up a little bit. We still in prayer mode. Lean up, lean up, so it don't run down. Yeah. So that's all the brothers. All right, Akim, same thing. Anointing prayer number 622 to 27. As we pray and over you, ask the most high for strength, blessings, upliftment, uh, anything you might be going through, suffering, ask them to help you with, make you a stronger brother, leader, father, son, whatever the case may be, husband, uh, you know, we're going to be needed on the front line as the men, Akim, to do this work and carry our nation in these last days. We all we got. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, y'all. Oh, yeah. Same thing, anointing prayer. Me and Kazak say the prayer. Go from right to left, say it three times and repeat it. Hello, y'all. Hello, y'all. Ya Baraki Yahawa. Baraki Yahawa. Wa Ya Ayahawa. Ayahawa. Panyawa. Ayahawa. Wa Ya Kanka. Ya Sha Ayahawa. Panyawa. Ayaka. Wa Ya Shamlaka. Shalom. Yahawa. Ba Shum. Hamashiak. Yahawa Shai. Wabu Kusha. Shemai. Nawa. Aita. Shalak. Maikala. Wala Hayam. La. Shema Ayam. Barak, Rapa, Aizar, Magun, Kazak, Hatazayal, Kwawa, your guy, 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 Kazak, 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 Zabak, 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 Rob Judah, Rob Judah, Rob Judah, Ko, Akim, Ko, Akwafim, Ko, Banyum, Yasha'ala, Bahashim, Hamashiach, Yahawashai, the water, the yad, I will long, ah, 
هلویا 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 This is rise and face to eat again. Let's pray for the food and the drink. Hallelujah. Yahweh, Hashem, Hamashiach, Yahushai, Bobo Kushaw, Barak, Nawa, Kag, Kadash, Yurak, Wa, Barak, Nawa, Yayun, Wa. Kazak, Shata, Babu Kusha, Barak, Ko, Kagyum, Maya Sha'ala, Babu Kusha, Bahashim, Hamashiach, Yahawashai, Tawada, Tamyad, Awalung, Aman. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Blessed are Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim, Mashiach, Yahushai. Please bless the food and the drink that we're about to receive, Most High. Bless our new moon feast, 11th month, Most High. By Shema Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, Tawada Amman. Hallelujah. 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 Sisters, turn where y'all stand. Salute the brothers. Brothers, salute the sisters. Men of Israel, Akim Yasha Allah, Amajim, Barak. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Shema Atan. Sisters, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Shema Atan. Blessed O Mosai Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Please watch over the sisters of Israel as they say the same back to us. Ba'ashim, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Tawad Amman. Hallelujah. Akim, turn. Make a circle. Sisters, you see that? Salute each other. Men of Israel. Akim Yasha Allah. Amajim. Rock. Yahweh Bashim Yahusha Bakatum. Come in Shalom. Come in Shalom. Come in Shalom. Hello Ya. Hello Ya. Hello Ya. Bashim. Hamashiach. Yahusha. Bobo Kusha. Bobo Kusha. Bobo Kusha. Rock at the Yahweh. Rock at the Yahweh Bashim. Hamashiach. Yahusha. Come in Shalom. Shalom. Come. Everybody repeat. Ashar, Kadash, Yirak. Come and shout out. Happy New Moon, 11th month. We did it. Come and shout out. Shalom. Shalom. Oh, Salakia, real quick. Um, we're doing a grab bag for Perim. Everybody know how a grab bag works? Huh? No, We're going to no, show y'all. <laughs> Purim is our time that we can uh, buy gifts for one another. I mean, any feast day or, or holiday, but we're going to do a grab bag. So I'll explain it to y'all when we do it. Good? Come here, Shalom. All right, Shalom. Shalom, family. Hope y'all enjoyed the service. If y'all learned one thing tonight, we've done our job. Um, Shabbat Shalom. Ashar Kadash Shirak. Happy Sabbath. Happy New Moon, 11th month. From HOI Los Angeles and all the HOI family worldwide. By Shiva Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, the Wada Amun. Shalom. Happy New Moon, 11th month. Wada Amun.